Power Partners, what is moving and shaking? It is Mr. Bud uh, coming at you guys out of our little humble abode here. There's Jim in the background. Say hi, Mr. Hey. Bud. Man. We've got the coolest office ever. We work out of the corner uh, right here in Cardiff, so we get to see the surfers all day, the hustling and bustling activity, looking out at the vast ocean to get inspiration. Anyways, wanted to make this video for you guys today because uh, there's an important conversation to have. Um, it's a leadership conversation, actually, and it's also an answer to one of the biggest questions that you're probably going to be asked as you scale and build your business successfully, um, as you bring on new partners. And this is never going to change. This is going to be when we're a 10-year-old company doing $5 billion a year in revenue. And it's when we're a 90 day old company, you know, doing a million dollars a year in revenue or whatever the heck it is. So, so here's what it is. Everybody is going to ask you at some point in time, who's making money yet? Are you making money? Is anyone making money, making money, making money, making money? And you know what? All right, let's acknowledge that. It's a fair enough question. And what I'm going to encourage to anyone that ever asked you this question, first off, if you want to show them this video, show them this video. Second, I'm going to encourage that we actually ask people to think bigger and be bigger than the most rote, basic, sort of mundane aspects of our existence, which is, hey, is anyone making money yet? Um, and here's why I say that. Because, first off, um, if somebody's asking that question, they're already sort of coming from the wrong place. As a leader, they're already coming from the wrong place. The question is not, are you making money yet? Meaning my sponsor or this person or that person. When we're asking that question, it's like we need somebody to prove something to else to us before we actually believe it. And when I started thinking about that, I'm thinking, man, thank God all of the world's greatest visionaries and inventors and the people who have changed the world didn't think that way. Could you imagine if nobody did anything until somebody else proved it to them, we'd still literally be walking around beating clubs on rocks and like cutting stuff because nothing would have ever been invented. Nobody ever would have <laughs> innovated anything, broke above the mold, nothing. So first and foremost, the deeper decision-making place, when we're considering starting a business, joining a business, taking affirmative action, the deepest decision-making place is, does this align with my values? Does the action that I'm about to take align with the world and the life that I want to create? So if I want to create more wealth, more freedom, more possibility, a better future, a sustainable future, is what I'm doing aligned with that? That is the most powerful place that people can make decisions from. To the extent that becoming a power entrepreneur and joining us on this epic mission and adventure to change how the world does energy aligns with your goals as a human being and as an entrepreneur to make a lot of money, a lot of passive income and change the planet, then you should do it. That's the best place to make the decision from. If somebody's only decision making is, hey, is anyone making money? How much money are they making? Blah, blah, blah. They're already, they're already not thinking like a leader. Second, um, and this one's actually even more important, and this is going to be applicable forever. You know, people have these unrealistic expectations sometimes of just what does it take to actually make money? So I just want to paint this out for you. Bobby gave me this metaphor as well. So let's say you decide you want to have a six-figure career. How do you have a six-figure career in life? Well, you work your way up the corporate ladder, or for most people, you choose some sort of profession that's typically a higher dollar per hour profession, right? So you're going to be a doctor, you're going to be a dentist, you're going to be a lawyer. You know, that's how you have a six-figure career. So now think about how long it takes and how much you have to invest to have a six-figure career as a doctor, a dentist, a lawyer, what have you. People spend eight years of their life, hundreds of thousands of dollars, investing and developing the skill sets, meeting the people, getting the education, to have a six-figure career. Put that in perspective. Why in God's name do, do people think that all of a sudden they're just gonna turn around and in 30 days they should have a six-figure career? That's insane. Does a doctor think that? Does a dentist think that? No, they don't. 
So you've got to think, what am I willing to invest to create a six-figure career and what's realistic? The beautiful thing about our business is somebody could invest $399, $499 and that's freaking it. You invest a couple hundred dollars and then what it takes is dedication, persistence, commitment, openness, learning, knowledge, experience, getting out there, taking action, doing things, and that's what you're investing. You're investing blood, sweat, and tears, time, energy, resources into developing yourself as an entrepreneur, developing your skill sets, mastering our conversation of solar energy, of power entrepreneurship, mastering inviting people to this process, so on and on and on and on it goes. And that could lead to a six-figure income in 12 months, 24 months, 36 months. I mean, compared to the other alternative, it's insane how amazing it is just in reality. We don't need to blow up, you know, we need to create these false, unrealistic expectations. Even in reality, 12 months, 24 months, 36 months, it's incredible. It's 10 times better than the alternative options out there. So, when somebody asks you, you know, is anyone making money? Are you making money? Whatever. I hope this helps you lead them more. Uh, help them help them develop as a human being so that they actually make decisions aligned with their values and and help them develop realistic expectations think like a leader and guys this is such a simple business it's really so simple the more that we just refine ourselves refine our conversation and continue to work on ourselves and our business every single day the easier and easier and easier it gets the more and more people join your team and like a snowball, it's that little momentum effect. So you go from four people one month to eight the next and then 16 and then you know 25 and then 50 and it seems like it's taken a long time but by month 18, now it's like 700 to 800. And wow, that happened pretty fast. We added, you added 200 people in the same time it took you to add you know, in 30 days and it used to take you eight months. So I mean, that's how this business works. And the last thing I want to say, if anybody says, you know, are you making money? Who's making money? This isn't rocket science, okay? Our business is so simple. All you have to do is achieve game changer or one of these levels of our compensation plan. And the math is completely straightforward. If you think your organization can achieve X amount of new partners and you think that those people can submit live transfer three people to get a consultation for free from Solar City, then this is what you will be making. There's nothing, uh, there's nothing unclear about it. It's hard, clear math. You want to make $30,000 a month? Great. Then reach Game Changer or National Game Changer and sign up, you know, have your organization produce 100, 200 new partners a month, get them all qualified, and you're going to be making some serious change. You want to make 5,000, you want to make 10,000, it's just a variance of those numbers. So, appreciate all you guys, hope this helps. Way to lead, keep leading, and we'll talk to you all in a little bit.